comes to time. Um, hello. Hello, hello. I am just adjusting it really, really quick. So let me show you what um, we're going to be doing. We're going to be using the cute, no, not the cute and crafty. It is the Halloween collection from Doodle Bug last year called Ghost Town. <clears throat> this is a very <coughs> kind of chill, kind of chill live because um, decorate this one. So my plan is to attach this right here right there but we're going to decorate this individually i just glued this one with a glue gun hey fatima hi louisa hello bugs hi shanita welcome guys so i hope you can see it i hope that the that the view is all right for you this is a new um phone holder so i'm trying to kind of learn it okay so i think that would be a good balance so this one I just attach with some glue. So I'm thinking we're going to decorate it like this. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Veronica, hello. Connie, hello. So we're going to decorate it with this one. Here's what I'm thinking. We're going to decorate it with this one. And this stands up like that. And this is going to sit on top of that. And it looks, it looks amazing when I was auditioning it. But look. Doesn't that look amazing? And... It can accommodate a lot of stuff. So I think we can start decorating it. It's going to be so much fun. Let's do it together. Yes, it's Halloween. And I hope that's okay with you guys. Hi, Chiquita. Um, hey, Cheryl. Hi, Vero. Hey, Holly. How are you? So these are just from Dollar Tree, you know. I'm getting pop-ups. I don't know why. It's my husband's email. Um, so, let me see. Is that a better view? So you don't, you see a bigger table. So, yes, Halloween, I think, is super, super awesome and super fun. Because um, I've been doing, like, Christmas in July. I think this would be so cute like this. This one personally is from Michael's, which is 99 cents. And these are both from the Dollar Tree. I did this before for um, Made With Love. But I want to do a double layer so we can put more stuff. And then the back part, we can put a pocket to accommodate like a mini album or whatever. I think it's going to be super cute. Let's get started. Let's just start covering it up with paper. I have... I have the collection right here called Ghost Town. Let me see if I have some scraps because... Yes, yes, yes. Uh, what are you guys doing? Are you guys crafting? Oh, I have this one. Let's see what we have. Let's see if we can use like super cute paper. I don't want it to be over the top, you know. But I think it's going to be so, so cute if we could... I just recently paint, I painted this while um, I was watching Louisa's live, so it's very fresh. So this measures about, um, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 16. So it is reasonable, it's reasonable to cover it with like 2 and 3, four. Two and three-fourths sheet of paper. That's pretty good. Hi, Linda. Hello. Hi, Pam. Um, cutting flowers to layer them. Yay. Love that. Writing provider memos. What does that mean? Writing provider memos. That sounds intense, Bugs. So we're going to cover it with something fun. Let me figure out what we're going to cover it with. This is like... This would be cute. I think this would be cute. It's two and three quarters. 
Bye, Louisa. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Yanira. Welcome. So we're trying to cover this. Let's see if it is the right measurement. These are from the Dollar Tree. I just um, painted them with, you know, acrylic paint from the Dollar Tree also. And it transforms it. Miraculously, it looks amazing. It looks so good and you can create it using different um, holidays. It already looks so good with the paper collection, doesn't it? And then you and then you make it pretty with some stickers, you know, with like other things like other decorations. It's perfect. It's e and it's easy to do. Are we still feeling a little Halloween-y? Yes, 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 we are, honey. So I'm going to be teaching a class for three craft chicks. And so I'm trying to get into the Halloween mood. Um, I'm already, I'm still doing the cute and crafty for August, but I'm prepping for the class. It's going to be in September. I, I know I, I have a lot of time, but I like to prep really early because I'm crazy like that. Look, this would be so cute. Okay, I'm going to remove that because I just glue gun it. My piece of advice is if you are not in a hurry, you can use, you don't have to use glue gun like me. I use glue gun, but you can use wood glue that you can find at the Dollar Tree. This is also six inches wood glue from the Dollar Tree. Hey, Robin, how are you? Hey, you guys, don't forget me and Rach are going to be having a live tonight on Instagram. And we're going to be, be doing something Christmassy. Anything Christmassy, I think, is what we're doing. Um, I think that's the plan. It's a 6 by 4 so I'm going to do... I'm just going to remove one eighth. We'll see. Um, yeah, Maddie, I'm working on this one. I'm trying to cover it actually. This is from the this is from Michaels, their dollar area. And this one is from the Dollar Tree. My suggestion is I don't like this pink. This pink is a little bit much for me. It's a little bit much, so therefore I want to I want it lighter if I could. Hi Sam. So yeah, these boxes, this is from the Dollar Tree. And these two are from Michael's in their dollar bin, you know. You slept for an hour. That's it. That's not long enough, Robin. Okay, so this is a good size. So this is five and three fourths. This is the Michael's one, okay. Five and three fourths by... Uh, I just want to take note of it for next time. Three and five eight. Three and five eight. And the square is two and three fourths squared. Yes. Hi, Gracie. What's up, honey? We are decorating this. You know, I'm teaching a class for three craft chicks again for their retreat. And I'm I'm excited about it. And I want to be inspired so exciting so we're gonna be using the ghost town collection that's the collection that's assigned to me and yay it got saved so excited get some more rest yes okay sorry good thing good thing you guys came back i'm so excited because i don't want to lose you guys remember what sometimes i lose you guys Hi, Alicia. How are you? You're driving. Please please stay safe when you drive, honey. Hello, Bex. How are you, Bex? We're covering these. These are Dollar Tree stuff. And I think these Dollar Tree cuteness will go a long, long way. So cute. So easy to use when it comes to decorating. Um, maybe the stripe. Which one is better for the top portion? The stripe or the spider? This is the spider or this is the stripe. Is it too stripey? This one? Oh, yeah. The stripe for sure. Yes, Robin. These trays are super, super accessible. Super easy to access. So it is 3 and 5 8. 
three and five eight by five and three fourths is our length. These are from Michaels. Those two, these rectangle rectangular ones are from Michaels. And these square ones are from the Dollar Tree. You're going to recognize them. Look. If I remove, see? They're from the Dollar Tree. It would be so cute if you put stitching because it's going to be so adorable. Look how easy that was. And then I think I want to put like some, I want to put layers here. Let's see, let's see. I think this would be a good idea to kind of cover. I just need to measure how thick it is. So about one and a quarter thick by one and one fourth. Okay, so this allows us to have, you know, if I cover this with this, Oh, it's going to be so cute. Okay. Let's do one and one and one fourth by three and five eight. Okay. Let's do three and five eight first. Oh, the height is three and five eight. The height is three and five eight. Oh, no. I don't have enough. Let me get. Hi, Jenny. Hello, Jenny. How are you, Jenny? How are you, Jenny? What's up? Bevs, hello. Did I say hi to you already? I am trying to cover these. You guys have access to this. These are from the Dollar Tree. Super easy. Hi, Jessica. Welcome, welcome. So glad you guys are here today. Thank you for all the love and the thumbs up. I appreciate it. Thank you, friends. Um, I don't think this is appropriate. But, you guys, this is what you use your 6x6 um, your six six for. Because, you know, these, these are super, super fun to make. Um, somebody's calling me, which is a spam call. I'm trying to figure out what I should do, you guys, because I'm trying to measure. Wait, who is Jenny? Oh, Jenny. Bugs. Jenny is Crafty Hello Girl. Jenny, meet Bugs. Bugs' name is Bugs. <laughs> Jenny is Crafty Hello Girl. Bugs is new. Um, yes. Oh, I think this one would be better, don't you think? Yes, I think that would be cute. Okay, so the height of this, the height is three and five eight. Nick, you want to say hi? You live? Yeah, I'm live. Hello. What are you making? I'm covering this one, the cabinet, to make a cute and crafty cabinet. Mm. Cute, right? Oh, Lauren's here. Hi, Christina. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Lucia. Hello, 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 Netherlands. Lucia is from the Netherlands, guys. Welcome our new friend Lucia from the Netherlands. We have lots of friends from all over the world. I love, love, love it. Um, so Lucia, these are these boxes come from like our dollar store. I don't know if you have those. Those um, we have them here, and they sell them obviously for a dollar. And I just painted them with acrylic paint from the Dollar Tree also. And so we're covering it and we're going to doodle bugify it. I think it's going to be so cute. I'm excited. Oh, Ingrid is here? What? Hello, Ingrid. Hi, Anya. Congratulations. First live for Anya. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for being here, Anya. Sylvia also is watching. Hi, Sylvia. Welcome, guys. Hello, hello. Okay, I think this would be so cute right here. You know, if I had more striped paper, but this is going to be horizontal. I don't have those. That's okay. We'll make do with what we have. Ingrid is in the house. Oh, how fun. Look how cute this would be to cover right there. 
So we're covering it right there. I mean, if if you want to, you can even cover this. You don't. It doesn't have to be like scrapbook paper. You can cover it, or you don't have to cover it. It's just I like it looking like that. Also, what would be cute is if you if you um stitch it. That would be cute. Hi, Fat Panda. Welcome. Um, super easy, guys. Um, you and the painting. You don't have to paint it at all. I just don't like the wooden color of it. That's why I ended up painting it. But if you're okay with a wooden color underneath your scrapbook paper, then no need for that. No need at all for it. Super, super cute and easy to do. Cute and easy. Um... This is going to be part of my Halloween ensemble. I am excited about Halloween this year. And I'm going to start pulling out my Halloween stash. I, you know, this Halloween stash is not, it's not super hard to pull out because it's in my doodle bug board. But I do have some other Halloween things. But this, since this is what I have and I love Doodlebug so much, I'm going to use it because it's so inspiring. And I started, I haven't, I've been using KS Crafts. I've been using KS Crafts dye. Oh, that will be so cute. I'm thinking I'm going to put an embellishment box or something behind this. Behind it, I'm going to put something up top here. I think it's going to be so cute. It's going to be adorable. I mean, whatever paper you choose, it's going to be cute anyways. You know what I mean? Hi, Trees. Hello, Trees. Welcome, welcome. So glad that you guys are here today. Jane is here also. Hi, Jane. I'm going to be doing um Halloween giveaway for my birthday. Oh, that is exciting, Jessica. That's super exciting birthday giveaway for jessica congratulations it's gonna be so much fun when are you gonna do your giveaway what month okay so if you want you can use wood glue i'm okay with this one so easy Okay, not sure if I like that. This is too stripey. Okay. So, here's... Oh, maybe I can do this. Yep, that will be a good idea. Five and three quarters. Five and three quarters by one and one fourth. I'm watching you from my hospital room. Yolanda, what are you doing in the hospital, honey? Are you admitted in the hospital? Are you okay? I hope you're okay. Halloween night. That is so exciting. You're announcing the winner Halloween night. That's so exciting, Jessica. My daughter's birthday is also in October. So I love having an option of doing like Halloween birthday for her. What is on the bottom? What is on that bottom paper? What's on it? What do you mean what's on it? Just paper. Jessica, your channel or IG. Jessica Marvel. Jessica Marvel Crafts, I think. Bad kidney infection. Oh, you got pilo. That's horrible. They're going to give you IV antibiotics. They're going to give you fluids, maintenance, probably 100, and they're going to send you home after that. Hi, Clarissa. I hope you feel better after the IV antibiotics, Yolanda. Um, yeah, kidney infections hurt so much, honey. I'm so sorry that you were, you're having um, kidney problems. That's horrible. It's cute. I think I need to get more of the six by six paper
NorCal Emperor, OMG, welcome, welcome. <laughs> How are you? Welcome to the live. NorCal Emperor, what a nice name you got. How fun is that? NorCal Emperor. Um, okay. We have two NorCals now, Lana and NorCal Emperor. That's so cool. Okay, so I'm going to put this right here. Isn't this so easy, you guys? You're just, you're just hanging out and you're just measuring. I only measured it one time and I, I suggest you put it on the paper, on a paper so it's easier for you to kind of breeze through the cutting process. So I'm thinking, you know, we have a lot of Halloween goodies. We have a lot of Dollar Tree stuff. I'm going to put a cabinet, like a layer. And then we're going to put some of these. We're going to use like a lot of doodle bug stickers to make it cute. And kind of like, kind of like a different spin on it. And then, yeah, I'm just going to use my stash, you know. Nursing knowledge. That's so sweet. <laughs> Michelle, you're so sweet. <laughs> you guys, we've been so busy. We have a lot of COVID patients. Like a lot. No joke, friends. No joke. Please, please, please stay safe, my friends. Stay safe, honey. Stay safe. Gosh. It is not the best out there. I'm going to do that one. You guys, please stay safe, my friends, because it's not a joke. It is crazy out there when it comes to the COVID business. Lots and lots of people are sick. And take care of yourself. Take care of your kids. This one, Lauren, this is called Ghost Town from Doodlebug. It's last year's collection. You know how last year, like, Halloween came and went so fast? Um, and this collection did not arrive to me until much, much later. And so I have had no opportunity to use this whatsoever during Halloween. So I'm taking advantage. Ooh, thank you, Jenny, for the link to Jessica's challenge. That is so sweet. Thank you, Jenny. Um, you, did you use your glue gun? Oh, I, I'm using my Barely Arts right now. I'm using my Barely Arts to attach the paper. I use my glue gun to attach the glue and uh, the boxes together because I'm lazy. And I don't want to go to the tackle box in the garage for my husband's. Oh, Candy Carnival is so cute. I used Candy Carnival last year for all the food carts. That is such a cute collection, also. I have the stamp for Candy Carnival. They're so cute. Look how simple that is, guys. So simple. So simple. I'm going to I'm going to cover. Super simple and easy. Like no problem at all. So the outside part is a little bit on the thicker side. This one is one and a half. One and a half by one and a half by four. So Let's do it. One and a half by four. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Madeline. How are you? Madeline, welcome. Welcome to the crafty community. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Crafting and relaxing. So one and a half by four. So let me cut it. One and a half by four. Um, I think I broke my my We Are Mammoth Keepers guillotine, you guys. I think I broke it. Because, yeah, it's messed up. Hi, Jean, how are you? My DT is out of all. Oh, no, Lauren. Do you have other DTs? Because these are like... Are like super super common in my Dollar Tree. I wish we were neighbors. I found my barely art glue the other day, and I thought I was going to need to buy new. 
lost. Oh, it got lost in the craft room. I'm glad you found it because I love my Barely Arts. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Lisa Skinner. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Rosalinda. I hope you're having a wonderful day. We have some Halloween business happening in here. These are from, well, these two are from Michael's, but you can get this version at the Dollar Tree. Um, and these two are definitely from the Dollar Tree. I'm just covering them with scrap of paper. You guys imagine if you have a favorite collection. For example, you're in the mood for like vintage stuff. Cover it with these and it's going to be so cute. Hello, Charlene. Hello, Crafty Pen Paloma. Hello, welcome, welcome, you guys. Thanks for being here. I'm so glad you're here today. Oh, I'm so glad you're here, Crafty Pen Paloma. How sweet. This is super cute. I'm excited. I think there's potential to this project. The potential. The potential is there. So cute. Oh, my gosh. I think I'm going to like it because I think it's going to be so much fun because this is four by one and a half because this is like easy to access or if you don't have access to it, you can just create like a simple box if you don't have it and make it like extremely sturdy and you can replicate this one for sure. You know what I mean? If you don't have a Dollar Tree. Welcome. Thank you so much for the super sweet welcome. Hello, Ava. How are you, Ava? Okay, so what we're doing right now, just to let you guys know, if you just got in, is these are Dollar Tree kind of wooden supplies in the kids' crafts area. And then I just painted them. But again, painting is kind of not mandatory at all for this project to be honest i'm covering it i'm just i'm covering it so technically you don't have I, I didn't have to paint it hey carrie how are you welcome welcome what do you do oh these projects i store my embellishments in here and you can send them as crafty happy mail um and yeah you send them to your crafty friends if you have a swap or you can use it to hold your present. Um, I'm sending them. I'm sending them to a crafty friend. Yes. I like doing these because they're so easy to do. They're highly accessible, you know. Are the top ones the pencil cases coffee coffee pods um the top one this one goes this one goes right here so what hap what will happen you guys recognize this one recognize those from the dollar tree so this one will attach to here and it's gonna be that tall and then the back part, I need to measure that. That's probably going to be like, I don't know, 8 inches. 8 inches by 6. So it is going to, I'm going to create like a storage solution. So we can put something in the back. I think it's going to be cute. Um, okay. So let's glue this. I think it's so cute. And it's so easy. You can just use your stash, you know. How are you, Carrie? How are you, dear? Oh, my gosh. Yesterday was so busy. I cannot. And I'm working again tomorrow. Hey, guys. If you are awake, okay, no pressure. But if you are awake tonight, me and Rachel, we're going to be having a crafty night. You know, our Wednesday night live every wednesday on instagram it's gonna be 9 30 pacific standard time um that is 10 30 central standard and that's gonna be 12 30 eastern standard time only if you're awake i would love 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 to invite you we're doing anything christmas related anything i don't know what my project is for tonight but definitely it's gonna be christmas related 
because we are about to end Christmas in July. That's easy. Easy peasy. I should have colored it black, right? I should have colored it black, but it's going to be too dark. I think pink is fine. I just need to cover this in this. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It's adorable. So these are papers that I have from last year's Halloween, you know. I've seen those boxes with hearts. You avoided them <laughs> because of the shape cut out. Yeah, just cover it, honey. You don't need to mess with it. You just cover it away and it's going to not bother you. Try covering it. It's going to make your life so much easier. So easy. And five and three quarters. Yeah. Okay, what was your last message, Veronica? I didn't see it. Hi, Mariposa. How are you? Thanks for being here. Happy crafternoon. Okay. Five and three quarters. Right there. Oh, this one is, this one is one and one fourth. Sorry, I made it too thick. You like the pink, Charlene? Yeah, I think the pink is cute enough. Um, it's two stripes. It's too stripesy. That's all right doesn't matter it's gonna be on top it's gonna be cute veronica is offering to get dt items oh my gosh that is so sweet amazing 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 yes that would be perfect for anyone who needs it that would be an amazing amazing solution right hello lisa how are you plan to get to go back and catch up yes Hi, Lisa. What's up, honey? We're doing some Halloween stuff. And I would love, love, love to invite you guys tonight for Late Night Crafts and Laughs with Rachel and Christian down on Instagram. Why did it say down? But down on Instagram. And, and it's going to be anything Christmas related we're trying to like close up Christmas in July I cannot believe it is cute and crafty month already I am ready for that month so so ready I'm excited <laughs> I'm so excited about cute and crafty I'm always excited about new stuff I noticed that about me nope 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 I'm not sure if it's a good idea to be covering it because, I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll think about it because it's one eight inch. So now these are covered. I just need handles for them. This is cute. This is what it's going to look like once I attach it. Um, I think we have to cover the top portion just so it looks neater and cuter. Your DT, yes, 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 yes. Veronica is going to help you. She is our official DT shopper. <laughs> She's so sweet, yes. Hi, Kim. I'm so glad you like it, honey. Thank you so much. Oh, no. Just to piss you off, right? Oh, this is super cute. I like it. Small stretch canvas with easel in the back. That would be so cute. I wanted to store some okay easy no problem 
How easy was that? We've covered it within like a few minutes, to be honest. Wouldn't they make an adorable gift? And then they can put it on their desks. So cute. And you guys, if you what you can do is you don't have to glue this permanently if you want it to be like um like multiple seasons i'm thinking i'm thinking okay here's what i'm thinking let me know if you agree or disagree it's okay if you disagree um i think because you can remove this look you can remove this and you can turn it and you can put a different set of cardstock in here and be a different be a different um, season. Like, okay, let's get some cute and crafty paper. You can put cute and crafty paper and it's going to be cute and crafty. You know what I mean? So this one, you can just Velcro it perhaps or something temporary. And then when you turn it, you get another, you get two more. It's going to be back to back. Right? What do you think? And you can just turn it over and yeah, so it could be like Christmas and Halloween. You know what I mean? So I need to buy two more of this and then I'm going to make and I'm going to make it a different season. Like you can do, oh, I'm going to I'm going to use this to decorate my craft room for Halloween or whatever whatever season you want. If summer's your fave or you know, if you want to do cute and crafty, which is going to be all year long, that'll be so cute. But that's a good idea, I think. Look how cute. This could be cute and crafty. And you can cover it like this. Oh, yes. But about the handle, I need to figure out. What about the handle, though? You can't put a handle because... You know what I mean? We have to figure out the handle. The handle should be something that can lay flat. That can lay flat and thin. Because you, it needs to go out. Out. Needs to come out. We have to figure that out. Maybe it's something from here that's on the inside that you pull out. We will see. We can problem solve that. We can easily problem solve that. So just imagine this is going to be, okay, I'm going to change it up and I'm going to make it cute and crafty. So behind this is going to be cute and crafty. And then this is your cover for cute and crafty. I think that's a good idea. Perfect for, oh, Janice. Hello, Janice. How are you? I just finished making vintage camera with an album inspired by Cynthia Lou, who, and Mommy Me right here on YouTube. And also, I did sewing inspired by one of... Oh, that is so sweet, Rosalinda. Thank you so much. We're making a craft caddy. Velcro for the handle. Oh, genius. Velcro. I'm thinking it has to come from the inside because there's like a 1 and 32 inch. I don't know if paper would be the best for it, like a paper handle perhaps. Not sure, to be honest. Like, what is the safest option? Let's see. Let's experiment. I'll take one for the team. Let us experiment on it and go from there. Because if you use paper... Hey, Angel! How are you? No worries, honey. We're trying to figure out how... So this one is what we have. And we're saying that, yes, you can create another one and put the two in the back of this and decorate it a different season we're trying to figure out this one if you put a handle right here that's paper or I'm trying to figure this out if it's because paper is the only one that's gonna that's gonna be able to fit ribbon yeah ribbon ribbon would be cute is it gonna fit though loop is sticking up faux leather yes it has to be thin otherwise it's not 
it has to be like something that can be hidden inside let's see let's problem solve we'll see how it goes okay so this one And then when you're not using it, it's going to be on the inside portion. We'll see. It's going to close. So it's going to be here. Is it going to close? Yes, it closes. Yes, it does close. If you put it on the inside, it will close. Yay, yay, yay. You can just fold in. Yes, yes, exactly. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. You can just fold it when it rotates. Fold it from within. I hope I'm centered. Right there. And then when this is not your season, it just stays on the inside. And then this is your cute and crafty season. But if the Halloween is your season, you can use that cute and we can put dangle here if you wanted to you can make this super pretty because you're going to put it on the inside anyways let's try it you can just you can just go to town this is just a pretend but you know what i mean you can easily like i don't know you guys are very creative i'm not very creative with the charm business but you know what I mean? There's a possibility. And then if it's not if it's not in season, it's hidden. Check. Checky check check. Love it. Mini drawer pole would be cute. Yes, it would be super cute, but it's not going to close. So that's why we're trying to figure out a way to kind of have it hidden inside if it's not the season that we're working with. Um I think that's a great idea. I think the ribbon is a cute idea. Better than the paper. So that's what we're going to be doing. So it is. So you can just. You can use it for whatever season I guess. Right? Right, right, right. I love it. I love that we're able to use it with different seasons and holidays. For birthday, for Mother's Day. It would be so cute. Hi, Alvina. Hi, Zoma. I'm glad you like it. Thank you, thank you. Tyvek. Yes. Oh, I need to remove this. Ooh, it's intense. This one is not coming out. I don't know why. That's why we need a handle for this handle is important <laughs> um super cute with a pull tab yes i'm sure you guys are gonna have like an, a better amazing version than mine because mine is just basic but that's the idea the idea is there um you can just replicate that and then but at least it's you can hide it and yes and then you can decorate you can still decorate this with stickers and everything it's still gonna be the same it's still gonna be super cute so let's get let's get it all let's decorate it it's gonna be so much fun i'm excited about this project i hope that you guys replicate this and don't forget to tag me because i love it when you tag me it makes me super happy it makes me smile knowing that i was able to inspire you to use your craft stash or or have you be crafted and have you be inspired to craft and everything hey rowie oh my gosh honey how are you how are you rowie I'm going to get my stickers. So I think, let's see. Let's see. Do I have any of these stickers for Ghost Town? I definitely, definitely need some.
chit chat. Let me get some chit chat from the pegboard. Cousin Phyllis, how are you, honey? Rewatching. I'm rewatching Friends. Gonna back the bags soon. Now Christmas in July is over. Yes, 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 honey. I totally understand. It's Christmas in July is over. Ooh, this one would be so cute up top here. Halloween. Do I have? I'm. Sh I hope I have chit chat. Oh look, you can use like different trims. You can use pretty trims as long as you can put it on the inside, right? That will be so cute. Let me check my pegboard, guys, if I have any kind of chit-chat. Okay, just a moment. Hey, Rocky, how are you? So glad you guys are. I'm so glad you guys are here today. I'm going to check my pegboard if I have Halloween chit-chats. I hope I do because that would be really, really sad if I didn't. Oh, I do. Yes. Yes, I do. Oh, I have it. I have it. I'm so excited. Oh, it's so much fun. It is so much fun. I have two kinds of chit chats. Oh, three. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, let me show you what I have. I just, I was shopping at the pegboard. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I love odds and ends and chit chat. They are just Time saver, super, super time saver. <laughs> like treasure. Look, we have chit chat. I'm so excited. Pegboards are awesome. So, Bev's is crafting along. What are you creating, Bev's? This one is a ghost town. That is so cute. We've got some chit chat right here. Spooky Halloween. But wait, I want to make. um. Wait, let's put a halt on it because I want to make using black. Should I make a divider? I think a divider should be is in order. No, but I think I should make it out of paper because let me measure this. This one. This one actually measures, okay, so this measures five, five and three fourths, okay, so it is five and three fourths, five and three fourths by, let's say one and one eight. Let's try it. Let's create. Let's create some shelving. Let's do some shelving just for fun, guys. Just for fun, okay? Divider would be cute because you know it's normally cabinets. Normally cabinets like these have dividers. So it would be so cute to put like little tiny things, you know, miniature stuff. But you have to put dividers to make it cuter. Let's get some of this get some paper a black divider would be better let me get black piece of paper and we'll go from there so we already know that our size this is our size it is one and one eighth and I probably want it one eighth of an inch I guess right okay so let's see one eighth. Okay, I'm gonna do one eighth. I'm just score at one eighth. I'm just winging it here. Sorry. Hi, Kika. Hello from Mexico City. Welcome, welcome, Kika. Thank you for being here. <laughs> no, we haven't. We didn't stamp anything, cousin Phyllis. We're just using paper, odds and ends, and chit chat. Um. So I'm gonna do one and one, one and one fourth, one and one fourth. And then the thickness would be one and one eighth, so one and one eight, right there. And then another one, two, one and a quarter. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. 
this is how we're gonna do it and then so that's how it is okay then when it comes to the corners we're gonna do one and one eighth one and one eighth another one and one eighth and then five and three fourths so one two three four five three fourths is one two three right there we're gonna do this just a little bit of sliver and we're done let's see if it works we're just swinging it sorry guys hello Jacqueline welcome welcome hello Caroline I love it we have the same name yours is my crafty adventures <laughs> <laughs> and mine is Christian's Crafty Adventures. Oh my gosh. Hello, Caroline. Where are you from? And welcome to the crafty community. Um, black poster board. That's genius. Maddie, that's genius. I don't have black poster board right now. But honey, that is so much better. Oh my gosh. That is such a better idea. Better, better idea. Definitely, Maddie. Let's do that. I don't have it right now. Hi, Tabitha. How are you? Welcome, welcome, crafty, crafty friend. That would be the best. That would be like the easier option if I had poster board right now. I don't have to be measuring anything, to be honest, right? But since I don't, I just, I just measure, measure away. Okay, so let's just do some snippings. Okay, we're just gonna snip it. I really like, I really like it. I really like the poster board idea. That's pure genius. Do I have a poster board in the garage? Maybe I do. Fine feathered nest. Oh, oh. You change it to my crafty adventure. Fine feathered nest was your oh that's a business. So this one is your personal account. I'm so glad you're here and you're able to make it into a a crafty live. Okay, so this one, this is okay. This one, this one. I guess technically I don't need to. I'm just going to cut this. Okay, so this is what we're doing. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm supposed to be doing it. Okay, because I don't need it to open and close. Technically, I I could just I could just like cover that and be done with it. But I can't. Well, technically, I did not need that. Okay, so just a quarter, I guess. And that should be sufficient. Okay, good, good, good. We are, we are getting there. You're going to notice that I'm going to leave this intact because that's going to be my, my portion that sticks out. That's my outer portion. Even if you're not going to see it, I still know that it was messed up. You know? Uh... Okay, let's glue it. Okay. Ooh, big shot. Oh my gosh. It is so much fun being able to die cut. You're going to love it. It's going to change your crafting experience entirely. Even if you have a Cricut, you know, having a big shot and having being able to use dies because the dies allow you to have some the dies allow you to have some stitch marks you know which makes it like amazing oh i hope this works because i wasted 10 minutes of this i checked to see the time for ig and i saw the live yes i'm so so glad I'm so glad 
you have the crafty radar. Okay, I hope it fits. I hope it fits. Yeah, me too. I've had my big shot since 2007 and it's the same. I'm tempted sometimes to buy a new one, but what for? But mine is still working, so I kind of like convince myself to not get anything, not get a new one because since mine is still working. A new and squeaky one would be great, but you know, technically you don't need it. Um Okay, so I'm just closing it up. Deb! Hello, Deb. How are you? How are you? Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It fits perfectly. I don't even have to glue it because it just stays. Yes, it looks so good. And it's adjustable, so you can just move it up and down. However... Whatever you like. I love it. It worked. It worked. It worked. Okay. I'm going to take note of the measurements. So cute. I like it. Um. No, it's okay. It's just the paper getting... So you can, it could be adjustable. For example, for example, let's see. Let me show you what I mean. For example, you're going to be putting, you're going to be putting these from the Dollar Tree so you can adjust it in such a way that, okay. Or you can do this. You know, just pretend. Let's see, like if you want to put multiples of these here or whatever, you can adjust it to fit. Or if you want to put a little bit of leeway. You can glue it if you want to. It's up to you. You know. That's cute. And then you can put more stuff on the bottom. Like these. Right. That will be cute. Yeah. You get what I mean, guys. You got it. You know what I mean. By it's adjustable. So I just need to take note of the measurements. But again, this is the Michaels brand one. This is the Michaels drawer. Yes, yes, yes. So cute. Let's make another one. Let's make another one. It's one, one and one eighth. Another one and one eighth. Oh no. One fourth, one fourth. One and one eighth, which is one and one eighth. One fourth inch, one two. Another one and one eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's it. Um, ooh, the crafter full of laughter. How cute is your name? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this one, Deb. Okay, so this one, Deb, is for. I'm getting ready to start playing with some Halloween doodlebug collections. And I, I've had this in my my stash for a little bit so this is what it's going to look like I want it I want to put it in my pegboard to decorate and you can use it for it's gonna be a reversible I love that part of it where it's reversible and you can do like Halloween and Christmas for both I think that will be cute uh, one and three-fourths which is six and then another. Okay, so let's cut this. Hi, Angie. Hello. What a cute name. The Crafter Full of Laughter. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, Gail. Hello, Gail. I say one and a quarter. One and three quarters. I thought fold a quarter. It would be tiny. It is one it is a quarter, which is one fourth of an inch. It's one fourth of an inch thick. Um, because we don't want it to be too thick. Otherwise, it's not 
gonna look good you can also do like a partial if you wanted to but in that case you're gonna have to glue it we can do a partial if you guys wanted to that's fine with me also let me fold it always use your bone folder hey wandy hey honey how are you as a usual we're doing something doodle bug <laughs> I got a message from Doodlebug because I sent them a message like um, I said like I love 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 your products I always use your products and and I would love to be considered to be part of your design team and they said we're full um, now please continue to post so they are not taken in design team members as of this time at least I tried that's all I'm gonna say about that you know at least you know at least I know and at least I tried that's all I have and it's okay to try and we'll try again I love this product so I hope so I mean that's the dream, right? You know, keep on dreaming. Don't stop. The hop, I think, is Saturday, 8 in the morning, Deb. I won't be awake for it, but I will schedule it to post. I hope you guys love it. You guys, we're going to have a hop on Saturday, 8 in the morning, Pacific Standard Time. And it is about all about cute and crafty. I'm so excited for you guys to see the video because I put a lot of heart like a lot of heart into that um, video. Um, you guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. I hope it happens in the future. And if it doesn't, that's okay. I have so many blessings. I'm grateful. Maybe it's not for me. You know what I mean? Like, okay. If it happens, it happens. It's okay. Um, I will continue to do what makes me happy, which is playing with the products. It doesn't matter. It doesn't phase me away from the company because they're so cute. It doesn't change the fact that it's super, super cute and it's my shtick. It's my jam. It's my jam. I love it. I love doing the cutesy stuff. It's just my thing. So that is not going to stop me from doing what I enjoy. At least I tried, and that's all I'm going to say. At least I tried, and I know the answer, and there's no regret. Um, I need to design my own line. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know how to draw. <laughs> yes, don't give up. You're the official. <laughs> I'm the unofficial Doodlebug DT. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm the unofficial DT member of Doodlebug. Yes. <laughs> That's so cute. We can put ourselves in the unofficial Doodlebug design team member anyway. <laughs> Thank you, Wandy. You're so sweet, honey. I appreciate all the love, guys. This one is... So this one could be like that one. It could be in the middle. I think it's going to be so cute. Look at this. This is Pumpkin Party. And it has a lot of cakes. Let me see what we have. This one is chit chat, chit chat. This one is candy carnival. Because I know Ghost Town has a lot of cakes also. So let's see what we have because I want to check it out. Yeah, I do. I love Doodlebug so much. Even if they don't love me back. It's like a boyfriend who d doesn't love you back. But that's okay. You continue to love them anyways. You know what I mean? Oh, that's so dramatic. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh. Yes. It brings me joy. I'm going to keep on going for it. <laughs> Doodlebug team leader. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's check it out. You guys, it's going to be so cute. Check it out. They have so much. This is Ghost Town. And they have so much cuteness. They're like jars. You know, I know it's going to be very 
very design like decorative oriented but it's still cute look how cute you can put all like the isn't that cute oh my goodness oh my gosh look if you put like, there's so many cakes in here you know look how cute that would be here and then some of these let's separate the ones that we can potentially add here the spider would be a cute addition i'm gonna set that aside in webs um you need also to apply to barely our glue so you get free glue i'm gonna try that wendy i'm gonna try it you can always try try and try until you succeed i'm very persistent so i will definitely try and see if they say no that's okay i'm gonna keep on going that's how that's how you do it in life you just go 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 oh cute <gasps> look at this cake look at this cake it's so cute petition to get doodle bug sponsorship oh my gosh that is so sweet angel you are an angel to me look how cute you guys isn't that so cute oh adorable adorable and then you can put some you can put some of these maybe here and then and then you can put maybe some gumdrops and candies on another layer that would be cute so let me separate it i got distracted i get distracted because they're so cute okay 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 um yes we all need to share her db creations and tag oh my god you guys are so sweet thank you so much thank you thank you so much i hope you know eventually they would recognize i love doodlebug so much so you know i'm gonna keep on using it it's still super cute oh my god this girl is so cute she's like dressed as a cupcake <laughs> i'm so glad i'm able to use this from last year look how cute this is Oh, look at the jar. This is so cute up here or bottom. Wouldn't this be so cute? I want to mix. I want to mix like some chit chat to here or maybe some characters. I don't know, but these are so cute and they're kind of like a great size, isn't it? Uh, gosh, that's a doll. Black candy. You get so much. You get so much with this. Oh, so cute. You get so many in the odds and ends. Oh my gosh, donuts. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Oh, so cute. I love it. Candy. Eyes. Okay, let's see. Right? cakes with dyes yes you can if you don't have if you don't have the odds and ends you can definitely make your own definitely definitely or you can use your mason jar let me see let me see if i have some mason jars that's going to fit these are some of the mason jars that i made ho 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 so you can put a mason jar in here and kind of like adjust it if you want to put multiple mason jars, you can. Like a mason jar cabinet, perhaps. You can do that. And then up top, you can do like... Let's see. If you have like multiple mason jars that you want to... You want to highlight right there. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Right there. And then right there. Gosh, that would be so cute. But I need a little bit more space for my cake stands. I like the cake stand so much. Where's the cake? Gosh, this is too cute. This is a must. This is definitely a must. Look how cute that is. Is that cute? Oh, blurry. Sorry. It is okay on my end. Sorry about that. 
And then we can put spooky somewhere up here. My goodness. My goodness. This is so much cuteness. It's hard to decide if they're all cute. I gotta decide. Luz is... Okay, very blurry. Okay. It is clear on my end, guys. Do you mind just Xing out and coming back, please? Look up. Look up. She's in the groove. I'm looking up. Okay. Love the odds and ends. Must be her connection. Very blurry. Getting better. There it goes. Better. Clear now. Less blurry now. Yay. Clear in Canada. Yay. It got better. <laughs> That's good. That's good, good, good. Now, I'm going to get some of these black, you know, silly winks. So that we can glue them upright. Love these. I'm going to send some to Rachel. Because she doesn't have Hobby Lobby over there. Okay. So this is super, super easy to do. I need to finalize where things are going to go. Um, let's unfocus for a minute. Okay, so I think this, this is for sure, for sure. I love this cake stand. I have, I'm partial to cakes because I used to create cakes. I mean, as a hobby. And I used to have a cake business in San Francisco. So cute. Oh. My goodness, this is adorable. So you can use whatever you have if you have like um, 3D, 3D stuff, jars, anything. You can decorate it however you like. You have to add on the hutch. So you can use all the cute decorations. Yes, yes, yes. I wonder if the little black tiny jars from Hobby Lobby. Oh, that will be a cute idea. Oh, tonight, Cousin Phyllis, tonight it's going to be anything Christmas. Add black with the AB shine to them. That is a great idea. Oh, that would be so cute. I'm gonna... Because that would be cute, like, poison. If you are into, like, the Tim Holtz kind of grunge. They have those potion... Potion-y things. You know what I mean? The ones that you get from, from Joanne's or from Michael's. That are... That are vintage. That would be so cute. This one would make, would be cute in here. So you decorate it however you prefer. It's going to be so much fun just being able to like, cute, yeah, the cute potion bottles. I don't have any of those, to be honest. But I think that would make it absolutely adorable. Absolutely, yes. Let's do the jar first. Wouldn't that be so cute? Oh my gosh. So adorable. My goodness. Okay. So you just put a little bit of foam just to make it a little sturdy. And add it here. Kind of... I'm going to do some like depth work. So I'm going to put something in the back just for depth. Like a cat probably behind, like a cat behind the cake or something or something brighter. There was, there was a, there was a bat, probably a, there was a frog in here. Oh no, it's too green. I can put the frog underneath here for some cute factor just for like color and it looks fuller 
That will be cute. Um, the potion bottles would be the best in here. I don't have them, but they would be so cute to have with these jars. And then if you turn it over, it's going to be Christmas jars, you know, like what we talked about. You can use, you can use like, just turn it around. So get four of this and then attach it back to back. Then when you turn it, one is Halloween and the other one, when you turn it over, it's Christmas. And that would be so cute to decorate your craft room, I think. Okay. I don't know if I want to put the mason jars that I made in here. I don't think... I don't... I think this one, this specifically, would be workings. Do we like the donut up here? Or in the center? Oh, the center would be cute. What about the small DT ones? Yes, I have those, Deb. Oh, this is cute. Look. This one, this is from ages ago. Oh, yes. Let's do this. Oh, here we go. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Okay, let me, let me find paper. <laughs> this is so cute. It's a sticker from, like, I think Ghouls and Something collection. Let me check. Okay, I'm going to put this here. My goodness, this is adorable. They have these. Look. Dragon's Breath. Adorable. Beetlejuice. I got this from Peachy Cheap last year. My goodness, how adorable. So cute. Spider on the back wall would be perfect. Yes, yes, yes. Let's do it. Would I see the spider? Can't see the spider though. Oh, I need to. I need to make the spider a little bit more 3D. So it stands out. Cuter and cuter. That is so sweet, Lauren. Thank you. You're so sweet. <laughs> oh, I, I love it, you guys. This is my jam, you know. If, bring, if it brings you joy, do it. Find the joy, right? That's what they say. Find the joy. Cute is that how cute is this monkey right here how adorable do i have maybe like a spider web of some sort let me see if i have a spider web because this spider would need a web because he's gonna fall off right spider webs yes i have spider webs okay this is what i have Okay, this one. Do we have a spider web in here? I thought I have half of a spider web. Oh, there's another candy jar that's huge. Look how cute that would be up top. No, it's too too many details. Okay. I guess I guess I don't have a spider web. I wish I had a spider web punch because that would be cute. But when I looked, you guys, when I looked at Etsy, a spider web punch is $64. How serious is that? Spider web punch. Yes. Cobwebs would be so cute. It has to be bigger. I know I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Let me think, let me think. Let me think. Oh my god, this is too cute also. This one has drinks. This one has... Oh, let's see. I don't have a spider. I know I have half of a spider web in here somewhere. I saw it. Here. 
Found it. Found it. But it's half of a spider web, which is exactly what I need. Right there. Okay. Okay. Let us... right there and then we'll put mrs spider oh my god mrs spider is adorable he has two layers of silly winks foam so that he's standing out look how cute is mr spider he looks afraid <laughs> he looks afraid in the corner <laughs> yes yes it was in the beginning ingrid you're right cute his face looks so cute i know but the dyes are like a lot of work okay so looks like we have more options in here look we have like cakes popcorn there's a candy corn one and there's cookies my goodness there's so many options with audits and ends but i am going to focus you guys I'm going to focus on my stickers because I think it's so cute. Pumpkin juice. Let's do pumpkin juice. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're making our own ephemera. But this one comes from stickers. I think it would be so cute if they're all lined up, right? Lined up um, on the top. Here in the top. And then some by the cake. That will be cute. The spider is afraid of the frog. That's right. <laughs> yes, Angel, because the frog is going to eat the spider. Look at him. Mr. Spider is definitely afraid. Look at his face. He has his scared face on. <laughs> 64 bucks. That's a joke, right? Like, no. Definitely not buying that. Even if I am desperate for it. No thanks. Look how cute and easy that was. Oh, yes. Let's cut the rest. Oh, it's so cute. And it's the perfect proportion. Perfect pr proportion to this specific project. That is awesome. How could they charge that much? $64. Insane. No thank you. I wish, I wish EK Success would listen to us and create the coffee cup. Coffee cups would be cute. Oh my goodness. Heck yes. Just imagine if you have a punch and it punches potion bottles. What? That will be crazy. Potion bottles. Yes. You can have a potion bottle for love, for Valentine's, like a love potion. You can have a potion bottle punch, and you can use it for, obviously, Halloween. And then you can use it for, you can do, like, sunscreen. It could be sunscreen for summer. And it could be, like, frankincense and myrrh for Christmas, you know? So I think a potion. Oh, wait. <gasps> My jars could be potion bottles. Wait, what? Let me think. Let me think. Could this be potion bottles, guys? Wait. Isn't there a spider border punch? Yes, but it's small, Angel. It's super small. If it was a puncher, then it would make our lives easier, wouldn't it? I have spiderweb dice. I have spiderweb dice also. But look at... The, look. It kind of matches. Oh, my God. Oh, I love it. Let's try it. I'm excited. I'm excited. Genius. You guys. You guys, this is legit. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited about this option. Okay. Okay, I got to stop it because the ideas are flowing and you got to like go for it. I think that will work. Let's try it, honey. Let's try it, honey. Let's get, okay. So this is our punch. Let's get a blue light paper for the jar. Let's just try it. If it doesn't work, then we go back to our regularly scheduled programming. But 
if it does, then heck yay. Let me get, let me get light blue paper. My God, I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> light blue paper. Ooh, this is amazing. And wood grain. Light wood grain would be good enough for this one. Okay, let's go. Even if I had money, like that would... Yeah, $64. No. I mean, I'm sure everybody has $64 in their bank account. But still, that's messed up. No, refuse. <laughs> I refuse. I wanted the vase punch. No, let's try it. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then I need to punch it in green, which is like Halloween green. Let me find, okay, Halloween purple. Let's just see. It's just an experiment anyways. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. This one could be the beaker. So this is what I need to fill. Just an experiment. We'll see how it goes. Ooh, I hope it works. My gosh. In theory, it works. Oh my goodness, it works. It works, you guys. Oh, it totally works. My goodness. Totally. And then you get like a piece of brown paper. Christian, punch out on acetate so you can make it look like glass. Yes! I hope it punches. Let me try that. Let me get an acetate. I hope the acetate punches it. I'm getting this one like a cork. Because it has like a, like a stopper of some sort. Eee, it's working oh my god oh my god it works you guys holy moly <laughs> i love it oh <laughs> it works yes i've seen the penguin punch oh my god have you seen the ghost punch oh beck uh have you seen the pumpkin punch it's the perfect so in one punch, it has a pumpkin, it has a ghost, pumpkin, ghost, and a cat. Oh my god, oh my goodness, look how cute, that's ridiculous. Oh! <laughs> Acetate got stuck, yes, I know. What about, what about guys, what about vellum? Vellum is easier to punch. Acetate, definitely mine got stuck too. Let me see if I have vellum. This is exciting. This is exciting. I had vellum before somewhere. Because when I cannot find vellum, I use my shrinky dink. <laughs> but I don't think the shrinky dink will punch. Because I keep on... I thought I had like a vellum stash in here somewhere. But I don't know where it is. I should get a vellum. I should get vellum. I thought I had a vellum stash. Let's try shrinky dinks. The penguin punch, yes. What about, is it gonna punch shrinky dink? I'll try it. Woo! Oh, it does work. Ooh. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. I'm excited, I'm excited. Let's do green. Like, let's do, what color? It has to be, it has to be the green of this. The Beetlejuice green. Let's punch this, because this is what I have <laughs> okay oh my gosh this is amazing my gosh i love it 
Let's try it. Let's try it. There's no harm in trying. Guys, always, always. If Stampin' Up! clearances their punches, you gotta get it. Whether or not you have ideas for it or not. It's always a good idea to just, just buy it just in case ideas pop up in the near future. Your future self will thank you for it. Vellum. Okay, so I don't have vellum. I need to get vellum from Amazon for sure. But let's try the smaller one. This one is a smaller. This is a shrinky dink. So we tried this one. I just need to put a label on it. Which is like, you know, copying that, I guess. This one is going to copy that one. And so this is crazy cute. So I'm just like fussy cutting, just removing like one sixteenth of of it. Or you can fill it if you want to. It could be full. That's your choice. <laughs> Rocky, you're so sweet. Vellum and if you have vellum, this would be so cute. And easy. Easy, easy. Oh my gosh, yes, honey. Yes, honey, yes. And then you just get your cork. You know, it's like very tiny. Gosh, this is legit. <laughs> I love it. Good thing, like, the nozzle of this Barely Art Glue is so tiny. It's like the perfect OMGs. Oh my god, okay, this is this potion for you. <laughs> Cute! French onion soup, oh my gosh. I made... I made... Um, what did I make? Oh, I made Zupa Toscana for dinner. Well, technically, I made it because I'm working tomorrow. So I wanted to cook for my family. I made Zupa Toscana for whenever they want to eat it, you know. And uh, we're going to have nacho night. So nacho night and Zupa Toscana. And we have sardo bread, so that's perfect, right? Let me see if this is the right size for the label. Hee hee hee. So what do we do? Uh, let's do spiders. Oh my god, it's so small. How do you write this tiny? Nouveau drops. Oh, genius. Ho, Jane. You're a genius, Jane. <laughs> or glue. Glue gun. Oh my gosh. Oh, Sandra, it is so, so cute. We are repurposing some stamps. I some punches. It's so cute. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, maybe it's going to be better if I glue it first and then write on it after. Because it's so hard to kind of, kind of localize it when you have to write on it. I have Chinese food from the Mexican market. Hello, Julie. Hello, hello. We are creating potion jars from the vase punch from Stampin' Up. That's what Sandra missed. Sandra, do you have this punch? <sighs> I'm new to the chat. I've been hiding. You've been hiding in the balcony. Don't hide in the balcony. Come forward. Chicken Parmesan. Ooh, that sounds amazing. Okay, so I, I don't think you guys can see. Okay, is that blurry if I do that? Is it blurry? Let me know if it's blurry for you. Um, who else did I miss? What did I miss with the chat? Is it blurry? Let me know, please. So I'm going to unzoom it. So this one would be probably... Um, it says beetle juice, pumpkin juice, uh, pork with mashed potatoes and gravy oh yes is it better for you to see it? 
I want to make sure that it's better for you when it comes to like I'm gonna put I'm gonna write it's so small it's like a miniature not bad okay so is it clear okay is that any better because I'm showing you something really really tiny I'm making I'm putting labels I'm putting um yeah the label we could do call me either slog if you prefer to call me crafter for short <laughs> not now it's blurry now it's buksa um, this one is a potion jar. Potion jar. Okay, so I'm going to un... Okay, what about that? Is that clear? Very blurry. Okay, cool. Pixelated again. Got it. Okay, so I think we're just going to be further away. Um, but you... I'm just writing anyways. So I'm going to do spiders. Spider. And then this one is going to be uh, slime. I'm going to do slime. Slime. Slime, slime, slime. What, what do you guys think? Is it still blurry? My coffee has like glue gun. Okay, so look at that. That's what we made from the punch. Look. And it is inspired as always by a sticker. You know. Stickers are super inspiring. Still blurry. Oh no. What about now? What about now? Hello, Linda, Linda, Linda. Linda, Linda from Indiana. Hello. Yvonne. Hi, Yvonne. Oh, no, it's blurry. So this is the, this is the vase punch. Auto adjust on. I don't think so. Okay. Frog legs. Yes, frog legs would be cute. What about now? So right now, I am moving you closer so you can see what we did. Spider eggs would be cute. It's so small. Right there. But we're trying to put it in our hutch. Halloween hutch. So this is what we're going to use for that. That is pretty cool, I think. That was pretty awesome to be able to do that and discover that. Love it. That was fun. I love, love, love playing with punches because punches makes our life so much easier. I believe it with my all my heart. It's not clearing up. Oh, no. Does somebody here speak Spanish? Let me... Okay, let me see. What about now? Are you guys seeing it now? If you go out and come back, it is not blurry anymore. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yay, yay, yay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think when I adjusted it, it messed it up. And then I readjusted it. It required you to kind of leave and come back, you know? But. Hi, Josie. Thank you for being here. I don't think I said hi to you, Josie. Did I? It refreshed and it focused. Hooray. Hi, Haley. Haley, how are you? Okay. 
we are just creating some potions. I think this would be so cute. This would be so cute to do um, for using our punches, our Stampin' Up cake punch. Or the KS Crafts, um, the KS Crafts uh, cake Cleoche die this would be so cute for halloween i'm gonna make that on halloween i think it's gonna be legit it could be a skull you know so glad you're here Haley. okay so if we put this if we put them right here is it gonna be redundant if i do that would it be redundant? Not sure. Because what I can do, I can easily put all the jars up here. Like all these itty bitty jars, I can, I can just line them up in here instead of up top. What do we think? Halloween shakers from KS Crops. Ooh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so let me think. Because I love them there. They're too cute over there. All Latinas. Be right back. Okay, Robin. Okay, so I'm going to cut them. Let's get our glue gun and start. Christian, do not overanalyze it and just glue it. You're going to be fine. Very true. Very true. I'm going to be fine. Don't overanalyze it. It's going to turn out cute because it's doodlebug. Anyways, regardless of what I do and do not do, it's going to be cute. He's so exciting, so exciting. Okay, I love this cake, Cleosh. Let's do the dragon's breath. Look how cute the jars. Thank you, Yvonne. I wouldn't, I would just put them everywhere. Yes. It's going to be so cute. Hi, Isela. Hello, Isela. How are you? So I'm going to kind of like put a little bit of distance so it has a little bit of depth. Right? Because it's going to look like it's full. If you put a little bit of depth to it, it gives it that cuteness factor. We're working with tiny itty bitty things, which is my favorite. What can I say except you're welcome? Yes, yeah, so cute. Hi, Isela. Hola. Mexican. Oh, how cute. How do you get the shelves to stay put? Um, because it was... I think... I think, Jane, because I measured it exactly, there wasn't any wiggle room. Um, and so, it's like perfectly attached to it. It just attached very well because it's just measured based on the actual size of the thing, the opening. So that makes it like not have any wiggle room for movement. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Oh my god, this is adorable. This one is tighter than this one. That's the second version. This one is the versions that we made. I'm going to put it right here. Oh, wait. I need to put glue gun drops. 
so that it has like water droplets onto it. That's cute. Yes, yes, yes. And this one too. Droplets. Cute. You can use your Nuvo drops for this, you guys, if you want to. I'm using my glue gun for to be for it to be clear. Just on top of the sticker directly. Right? Cute and easy and convenient because you already have your glue gun on. Yay, we have droplets. Having a get-together with all my Rujas. <laughs> Halloween is my favorite time of the year. I say you can never have enough. I agree, honey. Halloween is so much fun. Super, super fun. And it's already dry. Look how fast that was. Super easy. I am going to put one of my homemade jars in here together with the skull. I think I think my homemade jar can play with the professionals. I think so. I think it's cute in the back. So cute. What? Oh my goodness. It is cute and cute. It's super easy. You can totally do it. Hi, Sassy. Hello. I'm glad you're here, sis. We have been doing this Halloween business for the past hour. About hour and a half. And we used... We used the vase from Stampin' Up to create some potion jars. Adorable. How cute is that depth, right? There's a depth to it. And you can definitely put more in the back. For example, like this cupcake if you want. If you want to put like, oh yeah, this cupcake in the back portion if you wanted to. I think the jars make it legit. I love it. I absolutely am enjoying this. Thank you so much, you guys. Oh, so cute. So, if you have any kind of jar dye or vase dye, turn that, honey. Turn it into a potion jar. And put it in your Halloween hutch. It would be absolutely adorable. Look at that. Oh my god, I love the jars. Eee, it's too cute. Thank you, Deb. My husband Scott is yelling in every time you say hi. <laughs> hi, Scott. How are you, Scott? How's your day? You're right. Ingrid is awesome. Ooh, this is cute. <laughs> Rocky's saying hi to Scott also. <laughs> Everyone's saying hi to Scott. <laughs> yes, this crafty community is so amazing. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, heck yeah. How cute. Oh, Oh, how cute. He's good and smiling now. <laughs> Hi, Wendy Lee. Happy crafter noon, honey. We have been, we've been trying to, we've been playing with this, um, with this hutch, Halloween hutch that is reversible. You can change it to whatever season you prefer. As long as you have four of the cabinet parts. Oh, it's going to be redundant. No, I don't like it. It's so, it's stripes. I don't like it. Look, it's stripes on stripes. I don't I don't appreciate that. I I don't didn't have the heart to put it. <laughs> Let's do some candy corn instead. 
Um, hola, Scott. Oh, how sweet. You guys are sweet. Halloween is going to be so much fun this year. I hope Doodlebug releases it a little bit early so that we have time to craft, right? Because last year, it did not make it. I didn't get it on time. I want to make some Halloween houses. We're going to make some haunted, cute, cute haunted houses for sure. Let's put some condensation drops using our glue gun. Just for the heck of it. How cute. How I love these. Let me count the ways. This makes me so happy. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. Um, I received my giveaway prize, Christian. So fun. Yay! Yay, 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 yay. I'm so glad you like it. Hi, Thrifty Crafter. How are you? Thank you. These are from the Dollar Tree, guys. Okay. This so the the purpose is for us to connect it right here, and it's going to be a hutch of different varieties. It's gonna be so adorbs. That's our goal is to make it super adorable and not scary at all. And it's gonna be the cutest Halloween hutch ever made in history. That's the plan. Ooh! Oh my gosh! I hope Doodlebug loves this. Um, I think I'm gonna, I want to send this to Michelle, who is three craft chicks. Do we like the gumdrops up here, guys? What do we think? What is your opinion about the gumdrops being layered over here? What do you think? Please let me know. Um, I do want to put some of these here. Like, aqua actual jars in the back just for fun today in today's world that's page 13 that's a pg-13 wait what hi maddie yes let's do a haunted house guys it's gonna be so much fun <laughs> you love it i am so happy you love it thank you thank you so much you guys are amazing I think a sticker would be super cute, guys. Don't you think? Let's see if we have some stickers. Let's do candy. Ooh, candy would be super cute as a label for this. Candy. Oh, how adorable are you? You adorable. You adorable. At least there's a there's an actual function. I love it. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay. And I can put another one here. Is it too much? Is that jar making it way too overkill? Oh, gumdrops with eyeballs. Genius. Yes, yes, yes. Love it, love it, love it. Prior to the text about the PG-13. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Haley, if you're still here, you gotta, you gotta check out. Because this one is only for 18 and above. Is that what you guys are saying? I'm sure Haley's gone. She normally says hi and leaves. I have banned some craft stores in Dollar. Doodle Fingers, what happened? How did you get banned? Oh, that's cute. That's cute, that's cute. I like it, I like it. So gumdrops and eyeballs. Are these eyeballs? I think they have these for eyeballs. Aren't these eyeballs? Oh, yes. Let's do it. Oh, hubby. <laughs> 
face face on the gumdrops oh that will be so cute cousin phyllis my gosh that'll be so cute you're genius cousin phyllis loves stamping so she is a proponent i'm gonna put these away this is for my friend deb deb i need to mail these for you but i don't want you to see it i am going to make i've uploaded the video video response um but i haven't posted it for public <laughs> hubby banner <laughs> that's so funny <laughs> my hubby banned me from spending um last year in september it was and coincidentally it was my first frank garcia purchase so i've never purchased from frank garcia before <laughs> never again <laughs> yes I remember the collection specifically. It was um, Paige Evans's collection, and that got me on a no spend. It is a mandatory no spend. So September was tough. <laughs> he knows your hiding spot. <laughs> Isela, you're so sweet. I'm sure you said something sweet. Oh, so cute. Cousin Phyllis loves the stamping. Yeah, I am going to put a VR, but if you don't want to see it, I put some extra goodies, of course. Ooh, this candy would have a face also. Um, don't watch it until you receive it. Gosh, goshy, gosh, gosh, this is so cute. Da, 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 da. What can I say except you're welcome? Oh, pink. Pink would be cute. What other colors do we have? Da, 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 da. Ooh, this one would have a face. This one needs a face. The candy corn. Did I put the candy corn already? Yes, I did. Without a face. We want faces on everyone. Gosh, that's cute. This tiny stamp is adorbs. Oh, that is the tiniest face ever. Ever, ever. Let's just put a face on everyone. Why not? Oh my goodness. It's too cute. Yeah, I can't do it on the black, but oh, I don't want to lose this tiny little stamp because it's the perfect stamp. Yes, it is a, a challenge. Um, it's a tag challenge, and the size of the tag is banner, actually. Banner, It and the size of it is five and a half by four with mini embellishments and a shaker mix right deb yes the details is in her ig check it out it is so so fun oh i forgot the pink oh i forgot the pink let's put the face on pinky it's not fair that she doesn't have a face and everybody else does right you guys i hope this inspires you to create your own hutch so after this live, not yet, I don't want you to leave just yet, but after the live, please, let's go to the Dollar Tree. I'm going to go again because I need two more for another project. Um, love the movie. Mrs. Doubtfire. Need a face. <laughs> okay, so getting a little cray in my desk okay so let's do this let's just i have three prices Ooh, box of goodies it's gonna be amazing it's going to be amazing for sure okay 
My goodness, that's cute. That is adorable. Pinky is the first. Is that cute or what? My gosh. How cute are these things? If you, I, I believe it. I totally believe it. Once you put a face on anything, they look adorable. You just cannot. Especially with the doodlebug stamp. Once you put a face, you cannot. I can't say no once there's faces in them things. Should I put eyeballs? Not sure if it's going to work on the cutie part. Let's do it. Candy corn. Okay. Just to break. Let's do the candy corn as the friend of Pinky right here. My goodness. And then this one this one went down let me know if this is overkill you guys you think it's overkill like if it's too filled do you think it's too filled I think it's cute to me but I would love feedback if you think it's like okay you have to stop putting things now because sometimes I don't have that capability of stopping. I'm going to keep on adding and adding until it's too much. And then it's too late. Okay. Oh, Grandma Christine. Hello. How are you? Okay, good. I don't want to, I don't want to like overkill it. Because I want them to have friends. I want them to be in the company of friends, safe and sound together. Having a party in the hutch. And hanging out. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. I think that will be that. And then one yellow down here and we are good. I'll use the rest of that later. And then we'll decorate the top. We will decorate, I think the last bit is us decorating the top portion of the hutch. Gosh, that's cute. That is cute, man. Man, oh man, that's cute, okay. Banner tags. I used to do lots of swaps, but now I'm caring for my parents. But if I keep watching this, I will have to buy a double wheelchair. <laughs> like twins and wheel them into the dollar store. And that's so cute. Would you consider draping it with cobwebs? Ooh. And then being full. It's, yes, that's true. That's true. That's a great idea. Hi, Cynthia. Hello, hello, hello. So it is best to decorate it before attaching to the base. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely, definitely. <clears throat> I I don't like... It's hard to decorate it if you're attaching it to the base. This is already, like, hard enough. You're carrying both of them. But it's okay. It's still manageable. Now, what we need to do, technically, is we need to figure out... Um, what is how do we decorate the top portion because remember our project is this one this goes here this one technically attaches to here and i need a decoration over here up top just a simple one and definitely i am missing i need to do something for this because i gotta do something it's too plain it is very, very plain. Let's put some stickers. Super simple. Let's do some simple stickering in here. That's cute. Let's put that right there, potentially, so we can put a spider up there. La, 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 la. We're almost done, guys. So two more things that we need to do to decorate it fully. 
Hey, Phyllis T. How are you? My baby brother calls me Philly. Hi, Philly. Um, I don't see a mason jar. Yes, I did not put a mason jar. Because it's a lot of elements. So here's what I'm looking at. I'm going to look at this and see where we're going. So I am specifically decorating this very flat. It is very flat, okay? Because be mindful that if you want it to be reversible, you have to have the, fun the capability of doing that. It has to be flat, so that's where your stickers come in. This would be like the perfect way to do to do it with stickers. Um, and a spider web right here. So I'm making sure that it's flat, but still, it still has like lots of elements in it. You know. Okay, let's put this right here so that is decorated you can put a happy Halloween across if you wanted to like a small super small sentiment hey Rach you're making dinner what are you making a bunch oh bunch of flying bats yes 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 that'll be so cute I am gonna use my bat punch for that but these spiders are adorable though the frog needs this is what we have so far we have a flying bat right there that's done super simple maybe like a small sentiment would be perfect um but these are huge these are huge okay so let's now let's deal with this let's deal with the top portion I'm going to put these away because that's done. It is done, 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 done. I'm going to put this stuff away because it's messy and it's too much. Okay, so that's what we have. Spaghetti. Oh, I love spaghetti. Thank you. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you so much. She passed. I'm so excited, Rach. She must be so happy, Elizabeth. Must be super proud of herself for passing her test. This one is carnival. Pumpkin party. I think pumpkin party is more appropriate for ghost town. So sentiment on top. That's what I'm looking for. A big sentiment on top of the hutch for here. I need to glue this. It's going to drive me insane. I'm going to glue it. I'm going to glue it. Because it keeps on moving on me and it's not my favorite thing. Okay. So right there. So it's going to be up top here. So let's look at our... Do we want this one as Halloween? I like all this from a Dollar Tree store. <laughs> yes, you have to check it out. Elizabeth is Rachel, Christ the Grandma Christine. Elizabeth is Rachel's daughter and she was in swim class. And she just passed her, um, her exam today. That's why we're saying congratulations. Halloween is super fun. Oh, yes. So cute. It could be this. Beautiful. There's so many. Hunting we will go. Trick or treat. Oh, this is so cute. My goodness. We can do trick or treat up top. We could do eek. Gosh, this is adorbs. There's so many options. There's so many options when it comes to these elements. October 31st. No, I want it like straight 
Halloween potty. Uh, oh yes. Yes. That's cute. Halloween potty. Is that cute already or what? My goodness, it's adorable. I love it. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> Carving pumpkins. My gosh. Trunk or treat. I love it. I absolutely love it. It gives it so much more life. Right? The sentiments. Hi, Mimi. How are you, Mimi? The eek with the witch. Okay, let's do that. Let's do it. Okay, the eek. Let me get the eek. Where did I put the eek? Oh, the eek with a what? The eek with a witch. Or a cat would be cute. How are you, Mimi? This is so cute. Okay, let's me let me get a witch. A witch. My goodness. And then we'll put a sun. That will be so cute. I have a pile right here of super cute. The moon and the bat. I'm going to set aside. Is this the witch we were talking about? Is this what we like to do? Oh yes, that would be cute. This would be phenom. Right? That would be cute. Love the banners. I like it too. Hi, Cynthia. Okay, let me see if there's another car that can follow this witch. Oh, we could do this right there and then eek. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to take this out. I don't want them mixing because they're from different collections. Move that away. Move that away. I'm going to float this on acetate, which is going to be so perfect. I'm excited. I'm excited about this. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. I hope this inspires you to use your stash. Use your Halloween stash. It doesn't have to be doodle bug. Definitely not. Um... You can use whatever collection you have, but the idea is the same. Whatever you like, it doesn't even have to be Halloween. You can do like a Christmas one. So our plan is this one. The eek will be here. The witch will be followed by this one. That's what we're going to do. Yes. Okay, I need to make sure to stand it up and see what, where I'm at. I guess I can just glue it, right? I can just glue it here and here and kind of call it good. That's easy. Man, that's easy. E. I'm going to attach the E. That's easy solution. Oh, yes. Wow, that was easy. Christmas, just imagine, Linda, if you want to make a Christmas hutch. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Jane. You're so sweet, honey. Look at that. Christmas hutch would be super cute. Or pumpkin spice fall hutch would be cute. Anything would be cute. If you want to make it cute, you make it cute, honey. Whatever you like. If you want to make it creepy, make it creepy. It's your hutch. Nobody can tell you how to decorate your hutch other than yourself. You do you, boo. You do you, boo. Do what makes you happy. Now, I have leftover 
I have leftover acetate. You know, I love doing this one, the acetate stuff. I love having them float. It looks amazing. I mean, you know, you can still the, see the acetate, but still, it's still cute. Christmas, right? You can do... Um, no, I don't raffle these. I keep them for myself. I use it to decorate my craft room. Um, sometimes I give it to a crafty friend. Sometimes I sell them. Depends. It depends. Wow, this one is cute. Gingerbread hutch would be cute. Yes. Gotta float a bat. There it is. There it is, Linda. Oh my gosh, just imagine. I'm gonna move you guys up top so that you can see the entire thing. Okay, you're gonna see my messy tail. But this is the idea. The idea is, let me take all these away. So the idea is for you, this one is going to be glued on top. This one is going to be here. That is it. Does that look amazing? Oh my goodness. I like it a lot. It's cute. It's super cute. I think this is missing something. This is missing like a sentiment. I'll add a sentiment to it. But I think this is so cute. It's just going to be hard to take photos of this gigantic thingamabobs. But man, it's adorable. Look how big it is. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, you guys. Thank you so much. You can do this too. Yes, that's cute, Rach. And the bat will be all over the place. That will be adorable. The bat punch. You guys can do this too. These are available at the Dollar Tree. Make your own hutch. Now, that's my challenge for you this weekend. Make your hutch and do it whatever season you love, love, love. This is reversible also with the design of this one. We just put, I hope it comes out. We just put this ribbon like trim and then you pull it out. And then when you change the season... You can put Christmas. Does that make sense? Anywho. So since this one is what we're featuring. Then it, it's out. This one has been hard to remove. Anywho. Thank you. Thank you so much for all the thumbs up. Thank you. I'm so happy that you guys are inspired. Um, I hope you have the most amazing weekend. I'm off this weekend. Which is super perfect. We're going to do a lot of shopping for school um friday i'm gonna do a live on friday i hope you make it and tonight me and rachel as always guys i hope you can join me and rach it's going to be in about three and a half hours 9 30 pacific standard time please join us we would love 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 to hang out with you in instagram and my channel anyway thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this project i love it so much i'm excited i'm excited <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me um, 99 minutes ago. Thank you so much. And I love, I would love it if you can come tonight. Instagram, Late Night Crafts and Laughs with Rachel and Christian. Um, we're going to be having so much fun tonight. Thank you guys. Have fun and have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for hanging out. Bye guys.